Shalawan, Shalawan, Brother Jose coming at you once again with some more righteous talks, man, some more precepts, you know what I'm saying, just talking about good things, man. First and foremost, I give all glory and honor to Yahweh, who the world calls God as the title in the name of his only begotten son, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus the Christ, because, you know, Christ, Hamashiach spoke Paleo Hebrew, that's why we call him by his Hebrew name, man, rightly dividing the word of truth. So lucky for the roosters, man. I'm out here in the so-called country, you know what I'm saying? Scattered abroad, man. Israelites, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, they're across uh, four corners of the earth, man. So, you know, hey, get straight to it. So mainly going to be talking about being double-minded and, you know, a switch sider, man, because you got people that's being double-minded nowadays, and, you know, you got you got some people that's that's a switch sider, man. You know what I'm saying? Luke Warm out and in, you know, so-called 24-7, in and out, you know what I'm saying, trying to, trying to say they're Israelites and then try to sneak back into the world, man, you can't be in the world and, you know what I'm saying, and trying to, trying to be an Israelite, man, but before we get into it, like I said, I give all our glory and honor to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, uh, Yahweh Shah, our Savior, who's going to come and redeem, you know, all so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man, the Israelites, you know, He's the King of Kings, man, the Lord of Lords, the Alpha, the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the ending, the Prince of Peace, the Burden Bearer, man, strong tile, man, you know. And I just want to give a hearty shout of rhyme to those that's doing the work on the highways and hedges, man, making their bodies a living sacrifice, you know, making their ministry a proof, you know what I'm saying, avoiding all, you know, uh, afflictions, you know, high waters, fornication, lust, you know, especially the ones that's not married, you know what I'm saying? Making their life, you know, proof, you know, proving their ministry, you know, to the brothers on the corners and the elements. Shout out to y'all, all congregations, all our accounts, man. It's being sincere and diligent, spreading the truth, you know, according to the scriptures. You know, shout out and those that's not on the highways and hedges, you know, that's getting built up, you know, fasting, you know, making their ministry a living proof as well, you know, keeping the feast days, you know, Staying diligent, being sincere, praying, fasting, reading. Shalom to you, to the to the women that's married, that's doing everything they can for their husbands. You know, shalom and, and taking care of the kids, man. Shalom and to their children that's uh, abiding and obeying according to the word. And to their parents, shalom to the single brothers and the sisters. You know, continue to stay on this course. And, and you know what I'm saying? Forsake your flesh and, you know, be sincere, be diligent, man. The most high gonna, gonna increase you according to his will and on his time. So we're going to get into it, you know, mainly talking about double-minded people and switch siders, you know, in, in, in this world, man. You know, you got people, man, they, they they been reading, they been fasting, they been doing all they can, but, you know what I'm saying, as soon as they get a little money, you know, they, they forsake all that, man. They ain't reading like they was, you know what I'm saying. You know, you got people waiting on the uh, so-called uh, weed man, going back smoking weed, you know, but we're going to get into it, man. I'm going to start off with... Uh, with James chapter 1 and verse 2. It's the book of James chapter 1, verse 2. My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations. So you got to count it all joy when you get tried in this thing. Because this is a walk of, you know what I'm saying, uh, enduring, you know. It's not, roughly the prayer phrase, it's not given to the swift or the strong, man. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter how strong you are, but you got to be, you got you to endure until the end. You know, because nobody's saved right now, man. And you can read that. You can read that, man. You can read many accounts. You know, Luke 1 and 68, man. You know, we still getting oppressed, man. We still at the bottom of this thing. We still got to pay taxes, you know. Even though you might got your LLC, you might got your own little business doing your own little thing, but you still got to pay taxes, man. You still got to answer to the ones above you. You know what I'm saying? And all that's going to be, you know, put aside when the Messiah comes back, man. So you got to endure you know what I'm saying? Make your life a living sacrifice, man. Especially if you want to do this work. Especially if you want to be, you know, the voice of the Most High. You know? Let's read it again. James chapter 1, verse 2. My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations. Verse 3. Knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. So the Most High is, is trying certain people, man. The Most High, you know what I'm saying? Trying people, you know, to increase their faith, man. You know what I'm saying? Do you have faith that the Most High can 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 carry you through all afflictions and trials and tribulations you know what i'm saying even if you ain't got no job 
even if you ain't got no car, even if you alone in this walk, you ain't got no wife, you ain't got no husband, you know what I'm saying? Or you lost a wife or you lost a husband, you know what I'm saying? Are, are you, are you, you know, can you, can your faith, you know, continue to trust in the most high, the one that you can't see? You know what I'm saying? He said, blessed is the, those that, you know, roughly paraphrasing, he said, blessed, blessed are those that, you know, haven't seen me, but they believe, man. Verse four, but let patience have her perfect work that you may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. Verse five, if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God, most high, that give it to all men liberally and upbraid it not, and it shall be given him, shall be given you if you ask. And if you want it to do his will, man, you know, not not just to scoff and, you know, to show how much wisdom and knowledge that you have. Because you got a lot of brothers that are do that and some sisters, too, man. You know what I'm saying? The most high allow them to understand certain things in his in these scriptures, man. And they just want to, you know, they just want to uh, what they call it. Um, they just want to uh, debate. You know, you got you got brothers. Back on the earth with the Pharisees and the Sadducees spirits, man, wanting to debate. You know what I'm saying? Try to try to make another brother look bad. That's your brother, man. You know what I'm saying? Why why you trying to why you trying to do that, man? Why you trying to shame other people, man? With the word at that. Most high ain't getting down with that. Verse 6, but let him ask in faith nothing wavering, for he that waver is like a wave of the sea driven with the wind and toss. Verse 7, for let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. Verse 8, a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. So if you're unstable, you know, you, you that's because you you double-minded. You want to do this, then you want to do that. You want to be righteous, but you want to do wicked things. The Most High ain't dealing with that, man. He's not dealing with somebody that's in and out one minute. You know what I'm saying? Lukewarm. That's being lukewarm. One minute you hot, you on fire for the Most High. Then the next minute you cold, man. One minute you want to read... And the next minute you want to watch, you know what I'm saying, BET, man, all day. You know, you, you got you got to you got to get out of that mindset, man. Let's go to uh Mark 4 and 9. Uh let me see if that's what I want. Mark chapter 4. Let me see Mark chapter 4. I'm going to start at Let me see where I want to start. Uh I'm going to start. I'm going to start at 19. And the cares of this world and the deceitfulness of riches and the lust of other things enter in, choke the word, and it become unfruitful, man. So, yeah, I mean, you got some people that got a little stimulus check, man. They, you know what I'm saying, they they shopped out shopping. You know what I'm saying? They, they ain't been doing what they was doing before they got that money, man. You been on hard times. You got your, you got your little 1400 now. Now you acting different. You know what I'm saying? You been praying. You said, oh, Father, if you bless me, you know, I'm going to help people out. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. You know, and, and you ain't followed along with what you asked for. You got some people, man, they've they been walking around, you know, the ones that's been in this truth, been in this truth for a couple months or a little minute, and now the most have, you know what I'm saying, opened up a way for them to have $1,400. And, you know, there, there's ones that didn't that didn't have any, any fringes, and now, now they done spent all their money, haven't bought any fringes. You know, some women haven't bought dresses. They said, oh, okay, you know, I ain't got enough, so I can't buy a dress right now. I can't. So the most high had mercy on you. So now you had a way to get a dress. And now you ain't got no dresses. Brothers ain't got no friends. You know. Hey, the most high ain't dealing with that, man. Mark 4 and 19. And the cares of this world and the deceitfulness of riches and the lust of other things enter in, choke the word, and it become unfruitful, man. So, you know, you're not bearing any fruit. So, you know, you gotta do better, man. Jay, y'all gotta do better, man. Let's go to Joshua, man. I mean, uh, you know, can't can't have a double mind in this thing, man. Y'all switching sides, man. Joshua, uh, chapter one and verse nine. Have not I commanded thee, be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord Yahweh, thy God, is with thee, whether so. Whether so ever thou goest, man. So the most high is with you, man. You know, you double minded one minute you 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 trust and you believe in the most high and then when something happened, you like, man, you know, is the most high dealing with me? You know, do the most high love me? You know what I'm saying? I might have to go back into the world cause this thing ain't what I thought it was gonna be. You know what I'm saying? Most hey, most most brothers don't even call upon the most high, man. They go to their elder first. They be like, Well, you know, hey, hey, hey. 
You got to go before the most high first, man. He said he's with you where this, where this soever you go is, man. You know, you can't be double-minded, man. You got to trust and you got to believe that. You got to know that. You got to gotta ask the most high to increase your faith. You know what I'm saying? Your elder is not going to increase your faith. He can teach you and show you some things in the scriptures. But at the end of the day, you got to believe. And, and, and the day that all hell breaks loose, man, you got to believe. And you got to be for sure in your trials and your and everything that you was doing while you was keeping your law statutes commandments. That without a shot of a doubt, you're going to make it, man. So let's get uh, let's get another uh, Matthew 28. So you gotta know that thing, man. You gotta be for sure of that thing. You gotta make your calling and election sure. Let's go to Matthew chapter 28. And I'm gonna start at uh, Matthew chapter 28, verse 20. Matthew chapter 28, verse 20. Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I had commanded. You so you gotta you gotta observe all things, man. Things around you, things that you're doing. You know what I'm saying? You gotta observe all things. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Uh man, hey, this is in real letters, man. So you know who that is talking, man. That's the Messiah, man. He said, observe all things, you know, and he's with you wherever they, wherever you go. You know, always, even until the end of the world, until the end of this world, man. Because we know when we go into the book of Apocrypha, we know the end of, you know, all this is, is, is going to pass away, man. You know, the end of Esau kingdom is done, man. You know, and those that have been keeping the law, statutes, commandments, those that have been living according to this word, man. The Most High going to uphold those that endure, man, that stay the course. So let's go to... Uh, let me see the uh, book of John, chapter uh, John chapter eight. And I'm gonna start at uh, start at verse start at verse twelve, and it reads, "Then spake Yahweh Shah Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life." So if you walking after this word, man, after the Most High, the Messiah, man, you a light, man. So you can't be walking back into the world, you know what I'm saying? Because if you do that, you're going to be in darkness. So you got to let your light shine, you know. Both the prayer phrases like the scriptures say, uh, those who are who are in light are like on a hill, man. Everybody can see you, man. You got to continue doing what you're doing, man, so others can, can see and question, you know, what is that? You know, what, what are them fringes that you're wearing, you know? Oh, you said, oh, you said, you know, all the so-called black Hispanics and Native Americans that, that's keeping their laws, they're just famous. They gonna be saved, man. You know what I'm saying? Even even if they get, you know, get killed for this word, man. You know, so so you gotta, you gotta be a light, man. You gotta allow your light to shine, man. You can't be hiding your works, man. You can't be, you know what I'm saying, trying to, trying to duck and dive, man. Just because you don't want to be seen, man, you got to put your life on the line for the most high, man. If you're willing to do that. So let's go Let's go to another, man. Let's get, let's get uh, Matthew chapter 24. Let's see what I'm on, Matthew chapter 24. Kind of got to run through these, man. I got to go pick my kids up. I was wanting to do this. Uh, try not to put this off. Matthew chapter 24, verse 14. And and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. Then shall the end come. So this gospel, man, that, that everybody hasn't heard, man, as, as the scripture talking about, it's got to be preached and taught and put out across all the four corners of the earth before the end comes, man. You know, the so-called blessed Hispanics and Native Americans will be saved and that they're the Israelites that this Bible speak of that Moses led out of Egypt. And as the, as, the, as the sea parted, man, Esau trying to take away the word, man. My phone glitching and stuff, man. I just got this phone, this phone. Look, man, see? Hey, but this word gonna go out, man. Yeah, like I said, this word gotta go across all four corners of the earth. Verse 15, when you therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken uh, by Daniel the prophet, stand stand in the holy place where, where so whosoever read it let him understand man 
So, you know, Re Revelation 1 and 3, man, you, you know, blesses the man that read it. And, you know, he can he can understand these things, man. And, uh, uh, let me see what else I want. I thought it was Matthew 24, but it wasn't. Uh, bear with me one minute. Uh, let me see. I think this is Shalaki. Yeah, this is what I want. Shalaki. Uh, Matthew chapter 25. Uh, starting at verse th verse 13. Watch therefore, for ye know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man cometh. So you got to know that, and you, get, and you got to be fearful and doing things according to what you what you could be judged for, man, because you don't know when the Most High going to come back. You don't know when your last day. Verse 14. For the kingdom of heaven is a man traveling into a far country who is called his own service and deliver unto them his goods and unto one he gave five talents to another two and to another one to every man according to his several several ability and straightway took his journey then he that had received the five talents went and traded the same and made them other five talents and likewise he that had received two he also gained other two so this is kind of you know going into you know uh basically doing things that the most high had gave you order to do command to do and you know just like us you know the most high gave us things and you know spiritually to do uh verse 18 but he that had received one went and dig in the earth and had hid, hid his lord's money after a long time the lord of those servants come and, and reckoned with them verse 20 and so he that had received five talents came and brought other five talents saying, Lord, thou deliverest unto me five talents. Behold, I have gained beside them five talents. And the Most High has given us certain things to do. It, what he might have gave me, you know, it might, you, you, might, you might feel like, or you might look and say, you know, the Most High dealing with that brother. The Most High did this. The Most High gave him that. And then you yourself might be like, well, the Most High, you know, he ain't give me as much. You know, you know that's kind of like what this is going to and uh, verse 21, his Lord said unto him, well done, thou good and faithful servant that has been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter down into, thy, into the joy of thy Lord. Verse 22, he also that had received two talents came and said, Lord, thou deliverest unto me two talents. Behold, I have gained two other talents beside them. And the same thing, you know, most people feel like, you know, the most high ha has has uphold certain brothers you know especially those that's teaching and you know some brothers might be feeling like man you know i wish the most high can deal with me like that like, like he dealing with that brother you know you don't want to think like that and you don't want to say that because you know you don't know how that you don't know what that brother had to do on his journey to to you know to go out at like like the scripture said and you know go, what have you done with those talents that i gave you some had tra traveled and jo journey f further man than the ones with with few talents and uh where was i at verse 24 then he which had received the one talent came and said lord i knew thee that thou art an hard man reaping where thou has not sown and gathering where thou has not strawed Verse 25, and I was afraid and went and hid thy talent in the earth. Lo, there thou hast that is thine. Verse 26, his Lord answered and said unto him, Thou wicked and slothful servant, thou knowest, knewest that I reap where I sow not, and gather where I have not strong. So he called him a wicked and slothful servant, man. And, you know, brothers are like that too, man. You know, the Most High has put certain things in their spirit, and they kind of get sit back. And say, well, you know, I can, I can, I can deal with it later. Hey, that's kind of how, how, you know, what I, what I was feeling like, man. I said, no, I can't do that, man. I got, I got to get up here and, and you know, and, and 
tell whatever's on my spirit, because, you know, I got to go pick my kids up. That's why I'm going to try to do it in a, in a quickly manner. And, you know, you don't want to do that, man. You want to get it done. You want to do it and get it done. And you you know when the Most High has put something in your spirit. You know what I'm saying? Because, you you know, it, it, it'll feel like fire, man. You know, whether that teaching, whether that counseling. You know, sometimes you might not, some days you might not beat it on fire as other days that you might be. But you still got to do the work, man. You don't want the Most High to say, you know, wicked and slothful servant, man. Like he just said right here. Verse 27. Thou artest therefore to have put my money to the strangers. And then at my coming, I should have received my own with usury. You know, take therefore, verse 28, take therefore the talent from him and gave and give it unto him which had ten talents. For unto everyone that has shall be given, and he shall have abundance. But from him that had not shall be taken away, even that which he had. Verse 30, Matthew chapter 25, verse 30. And cast ye the unprofitable profitable servant into outer darkness, then shall be weeping and gashing of teeth. So the most high, you know, and, and when it come back, that's going to be like that, weeping and gashing their teeth. And, you know, and, and kind of like a twofold, you know what I'm saying? The most high can take away certain things from you and, and, you know, give it to somebody else. You know, he can take away your spirit, you know, if you're being slothful, you know what I'm saying? So you got to come out here, you got to do the work, man. Let's get another one. Let's see what I want. Uh, let's get, um... Let me see. Let me get Romans 12 and 2. Uh, I believe that's what I want. Romans chapter 12. Just lock it. Bear with me. My hands getting cold out here. I've only been out here for like 20, 20 minutes. My hands cold already. Romans chapter 12 verse 2. And be not conformed to this world. And when you get the understanding and the definition of conform, that's basically uh, follow and abiding by it said, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. So you got to renew your mind daily. That's why, like, like in the book of, book of Revelation, it said one in three blesses the man that read it. Because you got to be reading this every day, man. You got to be meditating every day. You got to be putting all folly and wickedness to the side, man. It said you got to renew your mind, man. And you want to renew your mind every day, man. Because you, not, you don't want to be of this world, you know. Being in this world, man, you know, people don't read, people don't pick up the Bible, you know what I'm saying? People just do what they want, man. Romans chapter 12, verse 2, and be ye not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove that, so like, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God, most high, man. So that's what you want to be doing, man. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to be double-minded. You don't want to be a switch sider, man, because, you know, that's just basically being lukewarm and going off, man. So let's get another. Uh, 1 John chapter 5. Uh, let's get 1 John chapter 5. And there's so many other precepts that I could pull, man, but, you know, like I said, I got I got to go pick my kids up, man. So I just wanted to get this word out. You know what I'm saying? It's just, just been on me. So verse, uh, 1 John chapter 5. Uh, let me start at verse 3 For this is the love of God That we keep his commandments And his commandments are not grievous Verse 4 For whatsoever is born of God Overcometh the world And this is the victory That overcometh the world Even our faith man So your faith man It can get you up out of here It can get you delivered man Your faith Because you know your works you know, keeping the law, statutes, commandments. You know what I'm saying? You doing that because you believe, man. So therefore, that can get you delivered, man. You know what I'm saying? So let's get, let's get, let's get one more. Second Ezra's, uh, uh, chapter four. Let's see. Second Ezra's chapter four, verse. Uh, about to start raining. Uh. Second Edges chapter four. I'm gonna start at verse 27. And cannot comprehend the things that are promised to the righteous in time to come. For this world is full of unrighteousness and infirmities, man. So this world is full of unrighteousness, man. So you gotta continue to examine yourself. You know what I'm saying? 
and, and you know, examine whether you're being a fake, man, because you got a lot of people that's double-minded, man. A switch sider, man. So I'm going to close out with one more. Uh, and let me get this. Uh, one of my favorites. This is the book of 1 Peter, chapter 4, verse 7. But the end of all things is at hand. Be ye therefore sober and watch unto prayer, man. So you got to be praying and asking the Most High to, you know what I'm saying, renew your mind and your spirit. Ask the Most High to take not your spirit like in the book of Psalms 51. And you got to be doing the work, man. You got to be sincere. You got to be diligent. You got to ask the Most High to increase your faith. You know what I'm saying? You got to be praying and meditating day in and day out, especially if you're teaching the word, man. Especially if you call yourself an Israelite, man. Can't be double-minded. Can't be, you know what I'm saying, you know, saying you're Israelite, not want to wear the fringes, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Not 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 want to uh, keep the Sabbath days, man. You know, you can't be lukewarm in this thing, man. So hopefully this video is edifying to y'all, man. You know, all the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, y'all Israelites, man. Y'all stay up. Continue to stay on this course, man. And we'll move to 11, man. You know, Passover right around the corner. You know what I'm saying? You know, the most I laid down his life for us. You know what I'm saying? And you got to remember what Moses did, man. So um, I just want to say shalom, peace, and blessings to all y'all. And kwam yashuala.